And Robert could be set to eliminate David in seventh place. 7.8 million in this pot. Turn is a 10. Now it looks like David is going to double up Ansem. That's why, see, David has one big. So Jax would have to go in the muck. Sammy and Perry saying WTF, he falls Jax, and they clearly want to take it badly. David is going to just call. Under the gun plus one with the Queen 8 offsuit. And it enables the ship leader to pretty much raise any two. So Robert is going to do it again. 8.8 .8 million to go. Knowing Raphael can't do anything. Knowing David has to stack off. And if Robert doubles up David, then so be it. We can keep the dynamic going. And he does have two live cards. Here we go. 4.4 the pot. Ace 10 deuce is the flop. See, this doesn't hurt Robert at all if he loses this hand. If anything, he can just keep pounding at the table, turns the jack of diamonds. He is laughing his head off. Robert's come. Four on the river. David will treble up. Thanks for joining us and thanks for your help. Rest up, Buttercup King 8 from Robert, and he is going to raise to 1.8 mil. And what is going on here? Robert raising to 1.8 mil. David is going to call on the button. I don't even know what David's meant to do here. I don't think he should be stacking off. Perhaps he's just way too short now. And has to. Definitely knows what he's doing. I don't want to criticize too much. Vladislav with the Jack 8 off suit, 1 million for him to call. I just wouldn't even be getting involved if I was Vladislav here. And Babas wants to know why not stacking off his three big blinds. Well, someone might bust before him. But as I said, I kind of changed my mind that perhaps he just has to call it off anyway. Because Robert's range is so wide. But if you want to get into it, if you're going to say Robert's range is so wide, then you mightn't have two live. Your opponent's going to have two live cards, which isn't good for us. Is Ace Ace Jack? 
And Robert's going to bet one big. And David's going to have to call. And Ladislav does have a jack. Gonna have to call two. We decide to fold because of the pressure. And Robert could be set to eliminate David in seventh place. Seven point eight million in this pot. Turn is a ten. Now it looks like David is going to double up Ansem. River is the seven. I really feel like Ladislav should call. Once he calls pre, he has to call one on the flop there. David going to raise in the cutoff of Kings. Uh oh. We've got action. This is a sick, sick cooler. Robert with the ladies, David with the Kings. And remember, David had one big blind not so long ago. Insane. That if the big line had a call to Jack, that time for one big, David will be eliminated now. But as it stands, we're about to have a huge cooler on our hands, and David will basically become the chip leader if this goes the way it's supposed to. Tree back comes to the tune of seven mil. David moves all in. David shoves it. Robert calls it forty four million in this pot now. Here we go. Robert needing a lady, needing a lady fast. Jack 6 4 comes off. Two clubs. David looking very good now as the turn is the five of diamonds. Suddenly, Robert going to be down to 20 bigs. David going to be all the way up to 44. Insane spin up from David, who. David is going to raise the two mil with the ace queen off suit. Raphael is going to call in the small. And Robert now wants to shove this one, I believe. Let's go for the shove for 21.2 mil with the pocket eights. And I don't see David getting away from this, but perhaps we want to lose half his stack here.
sure the ace queen just going to be too strong. Does go for it. This is going to be a huge flip. Either Robert is going to be back as the chippy or David is going to have 55.4 million. Lady in the window. Probably a tree in the deuce and it's not looking pretty for Robert to survive. This one, just two eights left in the deck. Turn is the ten of diamonds. Here is the four diamonds. Robert has been eliminated in fifth place. And lads, it has to be said once again, they going back from fumes. Aces on the Bhutan for Raphael two point four million to go. Oh dear. Just as I say it, David destroying this table. He could be about to lose half his stack here. Going to three bet to eight mil. And perhaps a tell there from how strong Raphael was or is. He didn't really think much about that. Feigning interest. Ten nine three is the flop. David might have picked up on that, and Raphael is just going to shove. Oh wow! And now, ladies and gentlemen. David might get away with losing just eight big blinds here with Ace King, which is incredible considering he could have lost 30. What a move. What a man. Raphael confirming the rest of the table's suspicions, which he should not do. Orlando, pocket nines, just going to call. Especially with Ben, under 10 bigs.
There's the payouts in the chat there. Taylor Coster. Three point seven million of a bet there and a call from David. And ten million now is the bet from Rolando. This is uh interesting from Rolando. I think David has to call once more, but he's not gonna like it. It'd be tough to get away from this. Well, perhaps Rolando just has seven or something of that magnitude. He is going to call a second time, as I predicted. Here we go, guys. 36 and a half minutes in his pause. We hit the river. River is the six of spades. They're basically playing for stacks here. Rolando's going to shove, and David is going to most likely get away from his hand now. I wouldn't blame him if he did call, but I just think how quick Rolando shoved there. It just doesn't seem too bluffy to me. Now, having said all that, we have seen Rolando make some bluffs in rapid time in the past. Funny that concurrent is saying calling him Orlando. <laughs> He's already dreaming about taking the pot from David, yeah. In Vegas and the Mirage. Whatever the Italian version of that is. Um David hates it but wants To realize he has to make the fold there. And Orlando now going to have a, a heap of extra change. A trick, but they got me good because I shouldn't have even mentioned it until I verified it. So, ha 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 ha, <laughs> Orlando. Main seven off suit is going to be. Okay, it makes sense now. Concurrent says deliberate manipulation of poker chips and presumes <laughs> sound over 40 decibels. Yeah, as if they have a lot of people out there measuring. Orlando is going to tree bet here to 11.2 million looking very serious I might just I was going to say you could rip it in Rolando's face here with ace five of diamonds but it would be probably a bit reckless definitely want to continue anyway and he does continue and flop comes ace six three Two hundred euro is the booty.
And there's the eight diamonds. Look at the size of this pot. Rolando is now going to check, and David is now going to check. Rolando now with a pair of nines. I actually wouldn't have been surprised to see Rolando shove that turn. Picking up an open ender, but he just doesn't want to bust before. The shortest stack left in the field. David would probably be happy to just win this one. David now playing over a hundred million, but Robert um, ran into some difficulties. David had one big blind. He had less than a million at one point. I think he was all in by default, had 800k behind. Rafael is going to shove from the small blind. David is going to call him off here with nines. And we are off to the races. David is either going to win this 60 million chip pot or things are going to be evened out a little bit more. Here we go. It is 854. That is a great start for David. Raphael needing help. Doesn't get it on the turn, but he does pick up a straight draw. 10 outs can save Raphael as we hit the river. River is a deuce. I do not believe it. Wow. Was runner, runner. David with a screen. Yeah, gets out of the way. And look at this. Rolando is going to re-jam. David's going to snap him. We've got action. 50 million in this pot. Rolando fists, bumps his opponent. And Rolando Camardesi needing help here. Here we go, 8-5 deuce, Rolando needing a king and needing a king quick. <clears throat> this will be sick for David having just lost a massive pot. Turn is the tree of spades. Rolando needing help on this river, just 7%. It is the jack of diamonds. We lose the fan favorite. Wow, he's such a fun player to commentate on. You've got a special place in my heart for this man. <laughs> I love commentating on him. Rolando Camardes has been eliminated in third place. So entertaining. Hopefully see him again soon. Rafael is going to raise with the 9-4 of spades. David is going to defend with the 9-7 of clubs. Nine five three, and Rafael could lose some chips here. David with the better kicker. 3 million is the bet. Hard to make a pair at any stage, let alone heads up. David is going to try to get additional value right here, right now. Like this from David. Raised to eight and a half mil. Rafael not going to be going anywhere just yet. We'll call for the additional five and a half. 
This pot's starting to get bloated now, 23.2 billion. Turn is a juicy one. The four clubs, two pair now for Raphael and David with the club flush draw to go with his top pair. One of the spiciest turn cards we could see, really. A lot of chips could go in here, folks. David's going to check. Going into check call mode, most likely. Eight and a half million is the bet. I was going to say that David might just check jam because oh, he's got so much equity. He's going to risk some bad rivers. Go and check, check, get the money in now. But this pot has spiraled out of control. 112 million now. That's the 60-40. Very lucky turn for Raphael. David could be down to 36 bigs if he doesn't hit this river. Here we go. Biggest pot of the tournament by a landslide so far. River is the deuce of diamonds and Raphael getting very lucky on that turn card. Holding and now is the overwhelming chip leader with 94 big blinds. Oh, this could be it, guys. Raphael is going to limp. David is going to bump it up. And I see this all going in. I don't think David is going to be in any mood to fold. Nor should he really with a hand as strong as Ace-4 suited. Heads up. Here we go. This could be it. 60 million in this pot. If it's going to double up to a chunky 50 big stack or it's all going to be over. We've got action and it could be action for the last time tonight. 70-30 for Raphael to take down this title here and now. Six three three. Well, now we have a lot of opportunities. Six outs as we see the turn. Turn is the five of clubs. Open ender now for David. Seventeen outs as we hit the river. Too many outs, it's the Ten of Spades. And Raphael, the hand is your EPM Mystery Bounty Champion. What a day of poker action it's been. What a fun final table that was to commentate on, especially that ticket bubble that lasted for ages. 
So many interesting spots to dissect. Thank you to everyone who's tonight. I'm going to get out of here quickly. I'm going to sleep now for about a day. I will talk to you all next weekend. For now, I'm going to say my goodbyes.